Good evening and welcome to the North Country Outdoor Channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are in my temporary office right now. It's a place that I am not seen very often. Normally I'm in my vehicle or I'm, I'm outside, but I wanna do something today for you guys that nobody ever did for me, and I'll get to that in a minute, but it's football season, so Michigan State Spartans, go green. Uh, we root for the Spartans, but in, in all honesty, we just love football in this household. So on Saturdays, it's college football. We watch all the games leading up to the Spartans playing, and then we watch games after that. And Sunday, we, you know, we're obviously we live in Michigan, so go Lions. Um, unfortunately, they haven't been that great since Barry Sanders, but hopefully they'll turn that around. We got to represent the home team, but we just love football. So again, we watch the games leading up to the Lions playing, and then we watch the games afterwards. We're just a big football family in this house. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going to do something for you guys that nobody ever did for me. And that's, let's talk about bidding commercial snow plowing. And when I first got into the business, I didn't have anybody take me under their wing. I didn't have anybody that, that cared about me in a way that they wanted to help me, that they wanted to share their secrets with me. It, it was just, I didn't know heads from tails. I didn't know what to do. I dove in, I won some, I lost a lot. I, I lost my ass on a lot of jobs. You know, it's it was for me over the past five years, it's been a trial and error until you figure out where you need to be and where your prices need to be. And there's just some little tips and tricks along the way. I'm not going to so much today talk about residential snow plowing because for me, I've, be, I've, I've gotten to a point where at the moment I don't have a residential route. I used to. And, and the reason for that is, is not that I'm crazy successful, but when you reach a certain point of uh, success or whatever you want to call it you don't have time for the residential driveways and and thank you so much to all my residential customers that got me to where I'm at today I, I would not be where I'm at had I not had the residential route that I had but you get to a point where you get so wrapped up and your guys are so wrapped up with commercial work that in a big storm you make promises to residential customers that you just flat out can't keep and the reason for that is is because your commercial customers are very demanding if it's a one inch trigger that's a one inch trigger and you get done with your route and you you know you're in the middle of a snowstorm and you have to go back and you have to start your route all over again there's no time for residentials in there and if I do it again, it'll be a designated driver and a designated truck that runs a residential route. So it's just one of those things that instead of um, disappointing residential customers, letting them down, uh, I just chose to back off from that because it was to a point where I didn't want to come across in a negative way and I didn't want to come across cocky, but you got, you got uh, commercial customers over here that are demanding but they also pay you you know sometimes tens of thousands of dollars in a winter and then you have a residential customer over here that is trying to be demanding but they pay you thirty dollars every time you plow their driveway and when dollars pay the bills their thirty dollars doesn't mean anything to you compared to what these tens of thousands of dollars mean so instead of being uh, you know a prick or cocky or arrogant or however you may put it I decided to just cut that off and stick with commercial again I wouldn't be where I'm at without residential people getting you know helping me along the way and that's where I started and that's where a lot of people start but so bidding commercial jobs what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm going to take and I'm going to uh, you'll see the screen of my computer and I'm going to take you through how I do it. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind is different parts of the country. Th there's different uh, going rates. Now, what the going rate is for for your area of the country, I don't know. From what I can tell, it's anywhere probably from seventy-five dollars an hour all the way up to one hundred and twenty dollars an hour. And then you know you have different rates where trucks are worth a certain amount an hour which is usually a little bit less and then you have loaders or heavy equipment that's worth a little bit more so you're gonna have to try to kind of gauge some of that on uh, you know I can't tell you what your part of the country's worth I, I, that's something I just can't tell you and I don't really want to tell you what it's worth in my area because this is YouTube and you could take my advice here and then you could come into into my town and you could steal my work with with my own advice and I just don't want that I want to help you but I don't want to hurt myself in the process if you know what I'm saying so 
if I had to guess, I would say it's anywhere from $75 to $120 an hour. Somewhere in there is what you need to charge for an hourly rate. Now that's not including salt. Salt is a whole nother thing. It's probably a whole nother video. I don't even want to get into salt right now, but your commercial customers are probably going to want salt, but that's that's another video. Right now we're just sticking to the basics of, of they want the snow gone from their lot. So once you establish what that dollar per hour is that you need to get, and honestly, you might figure out what that dollar per hour is in your area, but you might not have the overhead that the other guy has, so you might be able to sneak in and do it a little bit cheaper. Now plowing is a very cutthroat business, and I don't recommend that you that you go and you, you undercut everybody because you know, you're know you gonna wanna keep those customers year after year, and you know it gets to a point where you're gonna need your overheads gonna grow and you're gonna need that that higher dollar per hour and you go to try to raise their price and they're not gonna like it very much so you know the, my best advice is try to stay within 10 to 15 dollars an hour of what the going rate in your area is so I'm gonna switch you over to my computer screen right now and I'll show you how I bid commercial snow plowing jobs all right here we are welcome to my computer screen this is actually the first time i've ever done this so uh, please forgive me if my execution is not 100 percent uh on point so this is my mac computer i actually do everything on this except for quickbooks i do quickbooks on my windows computer just because it's i like the way that it's set up on windows better than i do the the mac but i i hate the new windows operating system so i do everything else on on the mac uh, the first thing you're going to want to do to uh, bid commercial snow plowing is you're going to want to open up your internet browser and obviously for mac it's safari i do have google chrome down here which i use from time to time and you're going to want to go ahead and type in findlotsize.com you see it popped up there at the top because i've used it several times my computer knows that and that's very important findlotsize.com you're going to want to know that website because that is the ticket to bidding commercial snow plowing so next thing you're going to need is you're going to need the address of the location that you're thinking about plowing or giving a bid for so we're going to we're going to we don't have a specific address here so we're just going to type in a city uh the big rapids michigan that's about 40 miles south of me uh, i don't know this city very well so i'm just kind of threw it out there we'll we'll go ahead and we'll We'll search over here. So what this is is essentially an overhead shot of, of you know, an area. So, well, there's Meyer right there. Well, let's let's zoom in on Meyer. And what this website allows you to do is uh, drag and drop uh, uh, markers. And so this doesn't have to be precise. Uh, so what you'll do is you just drag these markers here and drop them. And uh, you know, sometimes like this right here. See this here? I don't even care about that. Uh, we'll just leave that entrance out of it. This is just for this is just for show. So I'm not I'm not getting too technical here, folks. Uh, if it was if I was actually doing this for myself, I'd probably get a little bit more technical. So right here, this is 10.99 acres. Right here, you can see it. 10.99 acres. So uh, we'll just we'll just say 10 acres. Okay. Now, you can come up here and hit distance if you'd rather do it by yards or kilometers or, or whatever you prefer. That's up to you. But my method goes off from acres. So 10.99 acres. Let's just say it's 10, 10 acres. We're doing easy math here. So 10 acres. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to figure out what the going rate is for snow plowing in your area. And like I said, it's probably somewhere between $75 and $120 an hour. Now, again, for easy math, we're just going to go ahead and say $100 an hour, okay? So then the next thing that you're going to need to do is you need to figure out how much snow can you push in one hour. And if you're first starting out, my guess is, and some people may disagree, and that's okay, I'm going to say you can push somewhere around an acre an hour. And you may be able to do more, you may be able to do less, depending on the obstacles and loading docks and light poles, and it just depends. But again, easy math, one acre per hour, and we're making $100 an hour. So what does that tell you? Remember, we rounded down to 10 acres here. So we're going to come up here, and it's it's real easy, but I'll just, I'll just do it on here. 10 times... A hundred is what thousand dollars. So to plow this parking lot, we're looking at one thousand dollars, and that's not including salt. And I can guarantee you, because I know Meyer, they want salt. So 
That's not including salt. That's a whole nother video uh, that I will go over with you guys because there's a lot of variables that go into salt. But just to remove the snow off from this parking lot per push, per time, is $1,000. Now, that might seem like a lot of money to some, but I'm telling you that, you know, being in business, that $1,000 goes away real quick with fuel and employees and, and insurance. And I don't have to go into all that with you, but $1,000 per push, okay? So now what happens is some places don't want to pay you per push. They want to set you up on a seasonal price. And a lot of people say, no way, stay away from that seasonal stuff. Me personally, I kind of like it. Well, why do I like it? I like to have a healthy balance of both, per push and seasonal. Because if it doesn't snow one flake all winter long, I still get paid when I do a seasonal contract. Now, how you charge for seasonal is, is, you know, and I hope I'm not losing you guys here because there's different variables in there. You know, you got to figure out, you know, what the going rate is. I can't give you the going rate and because I don't know it and, you know, stuff like that. Once you figure that out, you plug those numbers into my method here and you will get yourself some good commercial snow plowing accounts so if we're going to do it per season we have to figure out on average how many times is the snow plowers in your area pushing snow how many nights or days or both are they going out and they're pushing in my area a good winner is 40 pushes okay so we're going to take that number 40 and sometimes like on Meyer here they're probably a one inch trigger so you may push them more than more than once in a day so i'm going to bump that up to 45 so we're going to take the number 45 and times it by a thousand well that's easy math too forty five thousand dollars so if i was going to do a seasonal price on this it would be forty five thousand dollars to keep this lot clear not including salt uh, and again, we'll go over salt prices in another video, but that's just how you do that. You just take your number that you would get per push and you times it by the amount of times that you think that in the recent history of years that you're going to push that lot per winter. Always give yourself a few extra just because you'd hate to get burned. And you know, if you bid it for 45 and you end up, you know, doing, doing 48 pushes, it doesn't hurt you that much. It just takes your thousand dollars per push and it, you know, it drops your, drops your profit a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal if you're four or five pushes off. So I really hope this helped you guys. I didn't have anybody to tell me this stuff when I was first starting out and I wish I did. It would have saved me a lot of freaking headaches. So thank you for, uh, for, for joining me for this. And, uh, if you, if you liked it, give it a, give it a like and a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that this helps you out. If you're having trouble figuring out how to bid commercial plowing jobs, this is what I needed in the very beginning. So I'm looking to give back and help people out. So thank you so much for joining me. Just remember tomorrow is a new day. Be creative and own it. Hey, hit the subscribe button for me. I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube community. Thank you for the support. I love you and I will see you next time.